I, I see privacy as one of the most important issues of the 21st century. We're at a stage now where more information is available about you online and on your phone uh, than there is in your house. You know, chances are your phone knows. Now he's leaning into her. She's got a really strange kind of body language. People feed off each other. If you're talking to someone, you're going to react to them. The interview is to this individual, the woman, and she's got a very ho-hum, not impressed, not excited, don't want to be here, body language. Shoulders slumped, feet partially on the ground. She's not relaxed. It's like she's at the edge of her seat, ready to go. The look on her face is, I'm half listening. And of course, he feeds off that. He's going to react to that body language. So what do we see him? He's all the way back in his chair. He's got his feet planted on the little I hate these chairs. <laughs> I just hate them. They make almost everyone in them look uncomfortable. He's got his back leaned towards her and he keeps leaning into her, leaning into her, leaning into her, trying to engage her because she has the ho-hum attitude. It's what you've been browsing, knows your friends, knows your relationships, has all of your photos. I mean, just think about this and the, the magnitude of information. We take that very seriously. I'm not a... And the believe me look. It's a hot button topic. Let me go back and look at that. Knows your relationships. Has all of your photos. I mean, just think about this and the, the magnitude of information. Talking points. Believe me look. But he is singing with himself. His body does sing with him. This goes into the ho-hum attitude that he's getting from her. So he's trying to make it bigger. Trying to encourage her to come into the conversation. Magnitude of information. We take that very seriously. I'm not a pro-regulation kind of person. I believe in the free market deeply. When the free market doesn't produce a result that's great for society, you have to ask yourself. I like how he does it. Government regulation. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot. See that. And he goes to the right. It's not good for society. And he's over to the right side. <laughs> that's not good for society. What do we need to do? And, and, and I, I think some level of government regulation is important. He submits on that one. So when he goes into the talking point of government regulation on the words government regulation, he goes down the submitting, submitting to it. It's like me looking at him and seeing that, especially with the talking points, that submission with it. He has succumbed to the knowledge, whatever it is. We don't know exactly. I'm sure we can fathom and theorize what it is from the news that they know government regulation is coming. They're not happy about it. That's why you see the submission. It's not an up excitement of, yeah, government regulation. No, no, it's submission like, yeah, it's coming. You've testified before Congress. How would you rate their literacy in terms of tech and privacy? I think it's a challenge. I think there is a need to work with Congress and the staff to make sure that we do our jobs I wanted to see if he went to the right with that as well, but he just stayed in the center. Helping them kind of come up to speed on, on, on what's possible. Technology itself doesn't want to be good. It doesn't want to be bad. It doesn't want anything. It's up to the creator. I'm exceedingly optimistic. The creator. He went to the right with that one as well. It's odd how that goes into his mind. The creator goes that way, especially with the other things that he puts to the right of himself. Unless he's looking at the government as the creator, then that makes sense. That this subject is now in the vocabulary and uh, getting discussed. And now we, we've got to all figure out a way to take it to the next level and, and change some things. Can you give me some specific examples of times when you have chosen user privacy over profit? Well, that would be a very long list, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, we're... You can list it. The way we go into product design, we challenge ourselves to collect as little as possible. And when we collect, we challenge ourselves to make it not identifiable. And we don't do things like we don't read your email, right? We don't read your messages. You are not our product. Uh, we're not forming the detail profile and then uh, allowing uh, other companies to. You know, when he says that he was, his body sang with him. He was very 
open with that. We don't read your messages. Now, the crux of that is when you look at language, and since we're dealing with technology, we have to just assume that when he's speaking, he's speaking on the human mind does not read your messages because AI or algorithms or whatever can read your messages and collect your data. That's not a human mind. All they're doing is programming. It needs to buy the opportunity to, to target you. It's not the business that we're in. And that is where we see some deception. And then uh, allowing uh, other companies. To so we see the uh, 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 he's stuttering, not only in the mouth, but his arms aren't even moving. It's like the uh comes out and the arm doesn't move. And then he goes and the arm moves a little bit more. To buy the opportunity to, to target you. And then he hides, target you. And his hands go down. Then he crunches up and gets real stiff, target you. And then the eyes come in squinty like, target you. That's deception. He's gone stiff. He's hiding. It's not the business that we're in. You don't use these massive data sets to improve Apple services. Are you going to be left behind by your competitors? Are your principles around privacy going to doom Siri to be worse than Alexa? No. The narrative that some companies will try to get you to believe is, I've got to take all of your data to make my service better. Well, don't believe them. If, if whoever's telling you that, it's a bunch of bomb. He did a lot of movement there. It's like he's in and out of half truths, And we could speculate on what it is, but he's literally in and out of half truths. Hey, software secretary, after I upload this, what's next on my to-do list? About that, I would prefer you did not upload this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe using this link via specific feeds. You'll be sent notifications to the full length videos and ones that can't make it to YouTube and you won't mysteriously be unsubscribed either. There is now a video course available on her website for gold subscribers where Mandy teaches more about her techniques of deception detection. There's also other content such as the crime series and interesting mind series and monthly podcasts available to both gold and silver subscribers. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.